What's up? It's me, Romina. How are you doing today? Today I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how I create high quality videos for TikTok, for IG Reels, or YouTube Shorts. I make a lot of transition videos for my own platforms, and in this video, I wanted to give you a behind the scenes and a step-by-step -step process of how I create one of my transition videos. As a short form creator, it is so important to create high quality videos to ensure that your videos stand out. And that is why I use the new Sony ZV-1F to create my videos. Sometimes the selfie mode on your smartphone doesn't give you the best result. And if you're using the back camera of your phone, you don't know if you're in frame, especially if you're doing transition videos like I do. I'm so excited to share that this video is sponsored by Sony. I've been using Sony products for over two years and they're my ultimate partner when it comes to creating content. In fact, I'm filming this video on my other Sony camera. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using two devices, my phone and the new Sony ZV-1F digital camera. This way you're gonna have a direct comparison of the smartphone result versus the ZV-1F result. The ZV-1F camera was literally built for people like you and me, content creators. It has all the features that we need, but the quality is way better. Stay until the end of the video because I'll be showing you the results from my phone and from the camera so you can have a direct comparison side by side and you'll see which one is better. First, I'm gonna film the transition on my phone. For the first part of the transition, I need to dress up a little bit. I'm gonna be making funny faces, so please don't mind. I know, please don't laugh at me. Now I gotta take this off and then film the same thing without any hoodies and glasses and no funny faces. That's it. So I filmed that transition on the phone. Now let's film it on the camera. Right after I film this video on this camera, I will show you the features that I used and those are pretty exciting. By the way, this camera is super lightweight in comparison to my phone. It's actually pretty cool because my hand is not gonna get tired. What I love about this is that it has the side flip out screen, so I'll definitely be able to see myself. Ooh, I can already see the difference. Oh my God, that's great. Let me put my glasses back and the hoodie. I'm gonna be using the countdown self timer in this camera because that's gonna help me kind of get ready before I start filming. I'm gonna be pressing on the defocus button, which I will show everything right after I film this because those features are super cool. And then also I need to soften the skin. Now I can start pressing on three, two, one. I'm gonna make a funny face now. All right. <laughs> Nice. Now let's talk about my favorite features in this new camera and the features that I actually used in my transition video. You'll be able to see what each feature does on this side of the screen. First things first, I used the background defocus feature on the ZV-1F. This feature basically blurs out the background and just focuses on your face and what's in the front of the camera. It's really hard to get that quality defocus on your smartphone. But if you don't like that feature, you can easily click the button to get rid of it, which is right here. The second exciting feature for me was the soft skin effect. I know that getting in front of the high quality camera is super intimidating. I've been there. My skin hasn't looked the best all the time. And when I found out that this camera has the soft skin effect, I was like, wow, I'm gonna be using that all the time, for sure. <laughs> And I also use the self timer feature that I think is one of the most important features in this camera. This feature helps you prepare before shooting what you want to shoot. Those are the features that I've been using in my videos now. I found them to be pretty important in my content now because they actually give me good quality content. The background defocus just makes it look so cinematic. The soft skin effect doesn't change the quality of the camera. And the self timer helped me not waste time editing out those unnecessary parts. The whole camera is overall super beginner friendly. If you just started creating content, then you can easily pick this camera up and start recording on the go. It's that easy. Now you may ask, how do I transfer my content from camera to my phone? Well, Sony made it super easy because all you have to do is pair your phone to the camera via Bluetooth and you can transfer content that way. Now that I shared with you my favorite features of this camera, let's look at the results of the transition. I know that was super quick, so let's rewatch that one by one. I 
As you can see, the quality of the ZV-1F is so much better. Personally, the smartphone result is a little flat for me, but the background defocus on the new ZV-1F makes me stand out. And now it looks so flat. My skin on the ZV-1F looks so so much smoother and better than on the smartphone. And overall, the quality of the video looks so much better and more professional. Nowadays, when there are so many content creators, your content needs to stand out. And the Sony ZV-1 app is a perfect tool to get that high quality content. If you guys wanna know more information about this new camera, or if you want to order your own, go to the link in my description. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also comment which feature was your favorite one. Thank you so much again to Sony for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.